Hello, long time no talk. Um, I thought I'd take you along a little bit on an end of the, nearing the end of the school year sort of day. Um, so I haven't been on in a while. We, I think I started doing some vlogmas and then we found out that, you know, oh, maybe we're returning to in-person in January and then it got pushed to February. So I've been back in school since February, K and one has, and I teach first grade if you didn't know. Um, and then the older grades came back and then our schedule changed and then our day got longer and then it's just, you know, it's been the COVID year. So I thought I'd, you know, take you along in June, June 2nd with like eight days left of school um, on kind of what it looks like to wrap up the end of this absolutely insane year that I am so, so, so ready to wrap up. <laughs> been like over a week since I've been here. Well, about a week, I guess. We had a long, we had like a, with like a snow day, makeup day, uh, the day after Memorial Day, which was cool. And we didn't have a snow day this year, so we just got the day off. And we had, Wednesdays are asynchronous, and Monday was Memorial Day, so we had like a five day weekend, which was awesome because in Washington, it was like 85 degrees, which doesn't even really happen in the middle of summer. Okay, let's see what sort of plans I have. <sighs> I have not been in since last Friday, so it's been almost a week. I'm pretty sure I left it planned. Yay. Yep. I'll take a look at what I got going on today. Looks like I have a lot of extra stuff laying around. I'll show you what I had planned. So, the week before we left, we had like our reading testing, we're doing fast bridge this year. Um, so we didn't have, we had a testing day and then I had like a sub day, it was a weird week. So last week's reading is extending into Thursday and Friday this week because it's a short week. Next week is our last full week of school. So we'll do one more sound, I think it's oi or ow. I don't honestly remember, I'm still in like five day off mode. Um, so we got that going on. So this morning we're gonna review all of our R controlled vowels. I know, it's for, it's leprechauns. It's it's June and it's leprechauns, which is, sums up this year pretty well, huh? This is from the Moffat Girls. My teammate gave me this. Um, so we're gonna do this for morning work, review all of our, you know, sounds. Then this morning in reading, we're gonna do some fluency sentences with partners. This is from Razzle Dazzle Classroom. Oops, it's not focusing. Um, and we're all going to write a few sentences with some more of our or sounds. We have some poetry that <laughs> this is probably like two weeks old now. Oh, I have a big packet. Oh my gosh, who are these from? Um, Susan. I'll link these below. I, we use these every week, my whole team and I. So I'll try to link the poetry below. Then we're going to do our vocabulary words, make some vocabulary sentences. We use the wonders um, curriculum, if you didn't know. Just a quick vocabulary sentence. This we're probably going to skip. And then we're reviewing shapes. So we, since we have a little bit of time, we haven't done much with shapes, with three, 2D or 3D shapes or fractions. So that's kind of what we're ending the year with. So we have a little few fun things that we're doing at our six feet apart desks. You know, filling in patterns in different ways. Just like a, it's a hodgepodge of stuff, honestly. <laughs> we pretty much finished our math curriculum. In writing, we're just gonna write about what we did over our long weekend. Should be a pretty straightforward day, which is, so proud of myself for having it all laid out last week. Look at that. So I'm sitting waiting to join a staff meeting this morning. It's almost 8.15. Um, kids don't come until like 9, 10. Um, we have a staff meeting, which was kind of unexpected. So I'm hoping, I'm worried there might be some announcements about grade level changes or something. And then I'm working with my team to place to do class placements for next year. So we kind of have some input in how we rearrange the kids as they go into second grade. So I'm working on my team, with my team on that this morning um, also, and it, that's usually like a two or three day process because you have to make sure there's behaviors, you know, pretty organized and things like that. Oops, my meeting's starting. Okay, I gotta go. Hi, it's the next day. I just vlogged yesterday morning, apparently. Um, hold on, let me close my door. <laughs> um, so yesterday was a whirlwind because all of a sudden it was like, oh, I've been gone for five days and I haven't thought about school and now, oh yeah, there's a lot of end of the year things to figure out. Um, so today is time capsule day. We have a time capsule at our school that we're opening from like 20 years ago, I guess. So I'm kind of dressed 
sort of ish, 70s ish, 60s ish, I guess. Um, and we're going to watch the time capsule get open today. And we have the seniors who are graduating this year come and like walk down the hallways. I don't know if your guys' elementary schools do that, but I did it growing up in the town I grew up in where you wear your cap and gown the year you graduate and go back to the elementary school you were at in the district. And, you know, everybody goes out in the hallway and claps. But so we have that today, which is crazy because we still have like a week and a half left of school. Um, so I'm doing, we have that today. We, yesterday was actually a really good day. We got through a lot of review stuff and reading. Today we're going to read um, a story that we get, didn't get to last week in the Wonders curriculum. Um, and we're gonna watch them open the time capsule. I can't believe, like, it's weird to have a full week left, but it feels like like last week of school things are already happening. That's been kind of difficult. Um, I'm trying to think if there's something else I wanted to tell you already. Um, I'm very sleepy. <laughs> I'm glad it's Friday. Our nice weather has gone away, so I'm kind of annoyed at wearing this kind of, not short, but to my knees dress because it's going to be cold, especially like with the graduates, we have to line up outside probably our class because we're near like the end of the building. Um, yeah, and my grade level and I are still finishing grouping our kids for next year. It was actually pretty easy because our group this year is pretty kind of like like behavior wise they're not really issues they're like talkers and that's about it last year was way more difficult it took us like six hours last year so this year it's only going to take us two days i think so we're going to wrap that up this morning i hope and i'll try to check in before the end of the day no promises though It's Friday after school, but hey, I'm checking in. Um, we had a busy day with the seniors coming for like, you know, their graduation thing where they go back to the elementary school that they were at to, you know, like in their cap and gown and we all stand in the hallways and clap for them and stuff. It was really, really nice, but I mean, that took up like the last 25 minutes of the day talking to kids about expectations and what it meant to graduate and all of that. And it just was, was busy. We came back. From lunch we had like 20 minutes they had some free time where they made signs to hold up for the seniors and that was about it so it, today was like the first day that it really felt like the end of the year and and sort of uh uh you know i guess like just with like different things like that are out of the norm going on and oh my gosh i always forget it's tiring so hoping i can have a sense of normalcy next week because we do have a full week of school still next week um so i'm hoping to like get have a normal reading week at the very least and we opened the time capsule. It was kind of, the kids didn't really get it for first graders. It was a little boring for them seeing like the history of, you know, seeing stuff from like the 70s on a video because of the principal and assistant principal opened them up on a video. So it was interesting to me, but not as interesting to first graders, which, you know, I kind of expected. But now it's Friday after school. I'm just trying to clean up my mess and I'm going to film my last video for our asynchronous Wednesdays. Um, all right, last day synchronous Wednesday, next Wednesday, and I just film a video for like explaining the scholastic news and the different questions that we've given them to go along with it. So I'm going to do that and then I'm going to head out, I think. Um, I'm tired, but this will probably be a really short, quick video. I'm just trying to get back into vlogging a little bit, but thanks for, you know, following along with me on these last couple end of school year days. I'll hopefully see you again next week. Bye.